Thank you for hosting us. Linda Goisha, trustee of the CTE Center, Metro Ed Silicon Valley, and also of the Campbell Union High School District. We have many, many students who are offered jobs during their intern internships, and our local businesses are hiring our students as fast as we can train them. They are hungry for developed talent. My district contributes $900,000 annually to the Metro Ed Center, and we are facing difficult cutbacks. We know that we must endeavor to maintain this contribution. We have 277 students there, some with disabilities, most taking A through G approved courses, and they're receiving instruction and a depth of experience that we cannot provide. We have no space at our sites for facilities of this scope, and we cannot purchase the state-of-the-art equipment needed for the 24 programs being offered. We just celebrated our 100-year anniversary, but our future is in jeopardy unless the state recognizes the value of CTE centers. We need direct, sustained, reliable funding for the excellent centers that are already serving high school students. We operate grant to grant on a wing and a prayer. The constant effort to stay solvent Thank diverts you. time and energy from our core mission. Thank, Thank you. you. Good afternoon. My name is Michelle Sugden. I'm from Silicon Valley, Valley Career Tech Ed in San Jose. I'm here in support of um, dedicated and permanent funding for CTE programs. High quality CTE programs offer students clear pathways and in industry certifications and post secondary certifications and degrees. CTE gives our students core academics, employability, job related technical skills, and they are job ready. Uh, without sustained, um, dedicated CTE funding, successful regional centers-based uh, CTA programs are at risk as local pressures and priorities threaten these programs to be offered or expanded. Over the last 22 years, I've had taught at uh, Silicon Valley Career Tech Ed um, 1,200 students. Hundreds of students are now dental assisting, dental assistants, dental hygienists, and dentists. Um, Lastly, I would like to invite all of you to come out to our center and see our high-quality programs and students in action. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you for having me. My name is Ray Sugden. I'm an electrical instructor from Silicon Valley Career Technical Education. Um, we need dedicated uh, permanent funding, and the reason I come across it this way is I came from the industry, electrical. I uh, took a big pay cut to come and teach the, the youth uh, what they need to do to get in the field. I did that because I love coaching and love the youth around me. Um, for me to be able to be in front of them and teaching them what they need to know, I need to know that I'm going to have a job next year and the year after that and the year after that. I put a lot of time and investment into these kids. I love to see them succeed, but I have to succeed as well. I need to sustain uh, a livelihood as well. I took a pay cut to come back and help the kids, but I need to know that my job's going to be down there two, three years down the road. And the year to year and year to year is not beneficial or healthy as me as a teacher. Uh, a year to year by window and not by forecasting five years or ten years down the road where I might be, uh, it's very difficult to do. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm on the other side of the fence in a way because I represent the Department of Defense with the federal government as a regional manager in the regional states and California being my main focus area for career education. I'm here today to be an advocate for schools because our mission is nationwide as every student matters. And understanding this and every student should have the opportunity to explore careers that best fit them to have a successful life, to be in our society, to be working and have the opportunities that we have all cherished. In every state across the nation, the song is sung. Give our, our students a chance and education to explore. Career exploration is what I do. I do the ASVAB Career Exploration Program associated with schools nationwide. We found out our best opportunity are for schools that offer CTE programs, and I can say the state, the great state of California does an excellent job. They can do better, however, but I think our best bang for the buck, what we found out through assessments is for our centers here in California. And I'm associated with Silicon Valley. My office is out of NASA, at NASA Thank Ames. You. And I'll just say quickly that we have a great career center in tech, and I believe that career funding needs to be here in our state and in our centers as well. Thank you. Our high schools. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you for your time. I'm Daniel Bobe. I'm uh, president of Milpitas Unified School District Board of uh, uh, School Board. I also serve at Metro Ed in San Jose. 
uh, for the last eight years. Uh, Milpitas, as you know, is 12 square miles. We have a great, uh, a great uh, relationship with our, our community college district. We're the first one in the state to go into a partnership with them and build a college <laughs> campus right across the street from the high school. So we have 3,200 students there, a lot of which go to uh, Metro Ed. And our superintendent down there has to uh, beg for her funds from six school districts that participate in the JPA. We need some better funding for that. Um, the proposal to give the funding to the chancellor, uh, well, the chancellor's a nice person, but uh, I don't wanna give her the funding either. <laughs> so uh, anyway, uh, we need to move along with, uh, with our funding model and keep our centers alive and open. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Um, my, first of all, I'd like to sincerely thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak on behalf of CTE students. My name is Mrs. Straubinger. I'm a medical assistant instructor at Silicon Valley CTE for 14 and a half years. In fact, I'm teaching out of the same room I was taught in, so that's life has its circles there. I have witnessed the transformation of young people's character and mind. St some students come in struggling, discouraged, ready to drop out uh, high school students, and once they enter SVCT and experience a CTE education, many leave as confident professionals, tax-paying individuals pursuing college education. Just last year, 24 MA students are now working after their internship, and that's just one program that we have at CTE. CTE is an oasis. It nourishes, it encourages, it challenges, it builds character, it instills morals in today's youth. The inner character of up. a person is the true measure of lasting greatness. Thank you. Our great Billy Graham. Thank you. Hello, thank you for allowing me to speak. Uh, I'm kind of winging this. I'll keep trying to be as articulate and flowing as I can. Uh, my name is Reed Shu. I'm a certified surgical technologist, first assistant, and a certified robotic first assistant. Um, I'm also a teacher at Metro Ed, Silicon Valley uh, Technical Career Education. Mr. Straubinger was my teacher uh, for the surgical technology program, and I just want to say that uh, CTE has given me the knowledge, skills, confidence, and ability to do my job with uh, proficiency and accuracy. Um, <clears throat> my background were after graduating uh, from Metro Ed, uh, I worked at Kaiser Santa Clara for uh, roughly about 15 years, O'Connor Hospital as well. I've also helped several physicians open up their own <laughs> private practice. I was a lead surgical technologist. I became a chief, precep chief preceptor for educating uh, all the new nursing, surgical techs, and medical students coming into the hospital. I was also the only non I was the only non-MD educator in the GYN residency, residency training program. Um, doing all these things at the hospital, being very active in administrative committees and being part of education and performing surgery with some of the top surgeons in the area, I gained all this from uh, CTE. And the infrastructure is here, the school is Thank you. There. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, my name is Marie Dela Cruz. I'm the CBO for Metro Ed and Silicon Valley CTE. I've been um, in school finance, managing school budgets for over 13 years now and we've seen our Funding model change year after year, and in this current model, it's really humbling for us to ask our six member districts to share their funding. And I'm here to hopefully see the day that ROPs and existing programs like ROP centers and CTE centers get dedicated, permanent, ongoing, separate funding. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, thank you for your participation today. Uh, obviously, there's more work to do. Again, I encourage you to contact your assembly members, your senators, to let them know how important this issue is and, uh, and, and, and lean on them to make sure not only that we fund it, but we fund it uh, in the right way so that it's not a real comp comp uh, complicated way for a local uh, uh, a local LEA to get to get the funding. I'm very, again, you heard me today, I'm very concerned with the governor's proposal. Happy with the ongoing funding. I'd like it to be more than 200 million. But again, the structure or the methodology by which it gets to the local seems to me to be a little bit confusing and a big hurdle coming forward. So with that, thank you. This meeting is adjourned.